I'll know you the next time I see you. Dan Rankin. He's dead. Is there anybody else with him? Rankin was the only one we found. Dan was a great guy. I worked for him when he was the inspector. I can't understand it. He was a careful driver. Not this time. The wigwag was working. And he must have seen it. But he ran right onto the track in front of us. Is there anything I can do? Not a thing, except for the corner now. This is one story I sure hate to phone in. Read all about it. Rankin dies in auto crash. Paper missing? Yeah. Thank you. Paper. Read all about it. Rankin dies in auto crash. Mark out. Come on, come on, let's have it. I haven't got it. I thought I had the imitation diamond, but... Hey, what is this, Pesky, a joke? If it is, make it sound me. I don't get it. Neither did I. Rankin was driving with Mac alongside of him. I had them both covered. Mac handed over the case and I told him to shell out, but I didn't have a chance to see if the phony blue was in it. Why not? There was a train coming. What happened then? I only know what I read in the newspaper. on the level? You sure he's dead? Dead, sure. Dan Rankin felt that the blue diamond never was stolen. He figured that Joe Connie was trying to collect the insurance. So he asked me to phone Joe. He tipped him off that Rankin himself was coming up with a search warrant to the club. Yeah? Then what? Then as soon as they got the call, Mac, who works for Connie, came running out of the club. He seemed to be in a big hurry. He got in his car and drove away. Dan tailed him? That's right, and I tailed both of them. They were too fast for me. Next thing I know, I saw Mac's car. Right on the side of the road, and it was deserted. You know the rest of it. No, I don't. There's something wrong with the picture. Dan wouldn't drive his car in front of a train, not unless he was unconscious. Well, what happened to Mac? Well, maybe he wasn't in the car. Maybe he jumped out. Oh, I'm uh, glad you left that angle about Mac out of your story, Farrell. I thought it would be much better if it read like a straight accident. Yeah. Say, you uh, didn't happen to see the license number of Mac's car, did you? I not only saw it, my friend, but I wrote it down. You know me, Everlight Farrell. Good. I'll have the boys pick it up. Sergeant. Yes, sir. Uh, pick up a car, license plate 19D119. Yes, sir. Uh, was Mac's car still by the side of the road when you came back? No, it was gone. Sure there wasn't a third party around, like the gunman who tried to bump off that diamond expert and stuck up Nick in his apartment? Not that I know of. And believe me, I'd know that mug if I ever laid eyes on him again. I didn't get Mac. He wouldn't hold still. I came back in his car and parked in front of the Century Club. You played your hand all wrong. Well, it's the only way I could. Made it look as if Dan Rankin was killed in an accident. Yeah, Mac knows different. He also knows you're after the blue diamond. The only thing he doesn't know is that he's carrying the imitation. Let him. He don't know who I am or that I'm working for you. Dan Rankin guessed it. Maybe somebody else will, too. I'm not worried about that. I'm thinking about that real blue floating around somewhere. Yeah, it still could be in one of those snowballs over at Joe Carney's. Dan Rankin dies in auto crash. That's tough. He was an okay guy. You know, he suspected me of pulling a fake robbery. I don't know why he should. Well, I know I told him the same story every time he questioned me. The diamond was stolen by someone I didn't know. You believe that, don't you, Joe? I don't know what to believe, Sherry. Don't you trust me? Well, it looks like I must. If the police show up, stick to your story. Oh, of course. Oh, I've got a rehearsal. I've got to run. Yes? Yes? Oh, yes, I see. Well, where is it? Oh, no, that's all. Thanks. Oh, leave the car where it is. They found Mac's car. Let's go get it. Quiet! Where is it, Jake? Parked out in front of the Century Club. We'll see what Joe Connie has to say about this. Uh, you better stay here, Frank. All right. 
Hello, Joe. Hello, Lieutenant. Say, have you any idea where Mac is? No, I haven't. Was he near that railroad crossing where Dan Rankin was killed? Well, no, of course not. Why should he have been? Well, I can think of one reason. Oh, you think he had something to do with Dan Rankin's death? I'm not saying that, yet. Say, didn't you get a tip that Dan Rankin was coming here with a search warrant? Well, no, that's the first I've heard of it. Why should he want to search my place? The tip was phoned in all right, and I'm just the guy that can prove it. Oh, wait a minute. I do remember. Yeah, Mac did get a phone call, and he left here in a hurry. You don't know where he is now? I... No. Well, if Mac didn't come back, what's his car doing parked out in front of your club? Well, maybe something happened to him and they brought his car back here. Yeah, well, who would want to do that? Well, you never can tell with all the holdups and robberies and things going on. Oh, now listen, Joe. If anything like that happened, they wouldn't bring his car back here. Why don't you answer it? Hello? Yeah, yeah. It's for you. Yeah, it's this chick. Here's the coroner's report. Dan Rankin died of a gunshot. Bullet fired from his own revolver, which was found near the wreck. All right, Frank. Dan Rankin wasn't killed in the car crash. He was murdered with his own gun. You'll have to pick up Mac on suspicion of murder. That's bad. It sure is. For a lot of people. Joe, did it ever occur to you that Mac might have lifted your blue diamond himself? Oh, Mac wouldn't do that. After all, it was worth a lot of money. Hello? Hello. Is Joe there? Yeah, he's here. It's for you, Joe. Now, if that's Mac, call him along. Hello. Yes, this is Joe. Oh, hello, Mac. Get to the phone booth outside and put a tracer on that call, quick. No, that wasn't anybody you know. Uh, where have you been? Makes no difference where I've been. What's going on there? Your head, I better call you back. Tell him to stay where he is and call you back in ten minutes. Uh, uh say, Mac, uh, someone just came in. Can you call me back from where you are in ten minutes? All right. All right, thank you. The telephone call came from a booth at Fourth and Oak. Thanks, Farrell. If you're smart, Joe, you won't tip Mac off. Uh, operator, I was just uh, cut off from a number. Can you connect me back to the number I was talking to? No, of course I don't know the number. What became of the man that was using this phone just now? Don't search me. That's a pay station. I never pay any attention to anyone that uses it. Thanks.
with the idea, Joe. Tell me to stand by and call you back in ten minutes. You're wrong, Mac. Come inside before someone sees you. Why shouldn't I be seen? Because the police are looking for you, Mac. Yeah, I know. They just missed picking me up when I called you. Take a look at this. I know Dan Rankin's dead, but I didn't shoot him. The police think you did. Well, I didn't, and I can prove it. I'm getting rid of this thing right now. Wait a minute. Don't give it to me. You told me you were going to hide it somewhere. Well, it's yours. You hide it. the cabin and hide out for a while. You know where the key is. Will you cover for me? Certainly I'll cover for you. And get rid of that blue diamond. Don't worry, I will. Wait a minute. Better let me see if the street's clear. Control one, Roger. Tell Unit 12D to trail and report route taken. Hello, Nick. I'm calling from the club. The police are looking for Mac. They think he killed Dan Rankin. He was just here and... Mac got back, huh? He was headed for Joe's cabin near Greenwood. He did what? He ditched the Blue Diamond. Oh, the imitation. But you've got it. Yeah, good work. You keep it and I'll pick it up later. All right. I'll see you then. Well, I was nosed. Good or bad? Might be bad if the cops pick up Mac and he tells who killed Rankin. Maybe I better do something about that. How do I get to Joe's cabin? Well, you go out the main way. Dan Rankin had a search warrant. You took it on the run with a diamond. Then when Dan caught up with you, you killed him. Dan did catch up with me, but I didn't kill him. Another guy showed up and took over. He must have done it. Did you ever see this guy before? No. 
Oh, I never saw him before, but if you ever pick him up, I'll know him. You admit you were in the car with Dan. How did you escape? Well, I jumped. What about the other fellow? I don't know what happened to him. But you got a good look at him. That's right. That's no smoke. Naturally, it's coming from the lamp. Oh, ain't that kind of smoke. There it is, I told you, see? Nick Paulo's next move against Joe Carney B. What will happen when Nick asks Sherry what she did with the real blue diamond? Don't miss Out of Control, the fifth smashing chapter of Chick Carter Detective at this theater next week.